All right, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you on how to integrate your TP-Link Tapo C200 camera with Scripted. And by the end of this same video, you will be able to control and monitor your camera flawlessly with HomeKit Secured Video as well as get two-way audio. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. So in my last video, we did integrate this same camera using one of the two HomeBridge plugins by enabling the auto pan and tilt functionality as well as HomeKit Secure Video. And if you're a HomeBridge user, I've left a link to that video in the description. Anyways, before we go knee deep into this video, I just wanted to let you know that there is a new site strictly for scripted documentation that has been published. Now, this site includes an updated camera configurations, plugins and platforms, scripted NVR service, and a brand new, much requested bias guide. Now, there's a detailed camera onboarding process that the developer encourages everyone to double check to dial in system performance and get the best out of this open source system. And if you didn't know, Scripted is a high performance home video integration and home automation platform. And I've done videos installing this awesome software alongside a Raspberry Pi running HomeBridge alongside running as a add-on into Home Assistant, a Synology NAS, as well as a Mac computer. Now with scripted, camera snapshots and streams are fast, rock solid reliable, and most importantly, bring HomeKit secure video support to cameras that don't natively support the feature. Now do let me know in the comment section on how your experience has been with scripted. Anyways, the camera integration into scripted is relatively straightforward, which uses just auto discovery. And the beauty is that you will then enjoy the added convenience and control of having your TP-Link Tapper cameras integrated right into your Apple Home app, supporting HomeKit secured video, as well as two-way audio, which by the way, the HomeBridge plugins were not supporting. So for all of this to work, this is what you will need. One, a TP-Link Tapper camera. Now we will be using the C200 and to enable the integration with HomeKit, we will be using Scripted running on a Raspberry Pi as a add-on with Home Assistant. Plus I also have left links in the description to install Scripted on multiple hardware platforms. So without any further delay, let's dive right into this tutorial. Now the very first thing we need to do is to enable RTSP. Now, this is what you will need to do. First, open up the Tapo app. Then you want to make sure the camera is already added to your network and is online. Then tap on the camera. Tap on the gear icon, which is located on the top right hand corner. Scroll all the way down and tap on advanced settings. Now tap on device account to enable RTSP read, understand, and agree to use the RTSP feature. Go ahead now and fill in the username and password. Now don't forget to save that same information somewhere cause if you ever do forget or misplace it, you will need to verify your ID or reset the device. Now before we go ahead to add the device into scripted, let's go ahead and enable the pan and tilt to function automatically by using the inbuilt motion detection. So to do that, let's go once again and open up the Tapo app, tap on the camera, tap on the camera settings, which is in the top right hand corner, scroll down to detection and alerts. You want to go ahead and enable motion detection and you can tweak the motion sensitivity and activity zones. You want to also enable AI detection and also enable people and baby crying detection. And most importantly, you want to enable motion tracking. With this enabled, you can now see the pan tail functioning automatically. Now let's go ahead and access Home Assistant. 
Let's go ahead and put in your username and password. So in this video, I'm going to be using the official add-on. And for my smart home, I will be using Home Assistant, HomeBridge and Scripty to get all of my devices working with Apple Home app. And then what you want to go is you want to go to settings. And just for routine sake, you want to go and restart the service. So in this case, I will go to add-ons, click on Scripted and then click on restart. This is very good when you want to go and add in new devices, especially when it comes to auto discovery. Once that is completed, click on scripted, click on management console. Now from here, you want to go and install a couple of plugins. Let's go to install. The first plugin we're going to install is the Tapo. Now with this plugin, we will go ahead and enable the two way audio. Give it a couple of seconds for the plugin to install. And from there, you want to go back to plugins, go on install, and then you want to look for OnWiF plugin. Go ahead and install. Now this one will go ahead and auto discovery the device on your network. And then there's one more plugin we need to install. And that is the snapshot. Now you also want to go ahead and have also HomeKit installed, which I've already done for my other cameras. Now from there, let's go back to plugins. You want to click on OnWiF camera plugin and click on discover devices. And just like that, it's automatically discovered. So let's click on the plus sign. And now you want to go ahead and put that username and password, which was the same when you enable RTSP. Once populated, all you have to do is go ahead and click on create. And just like that, you should see a snapshot of the camera. And you want to go ahead and enable two-way audio, click on save. And then from there, you want to go to extensions and you want to go ahead and enable HomeKit and Tapo two-way audio. Now from there, you want to go to Tapo two-way audio. Now you have to go and put in the cloud account password. This is not the same to enable the RTSP local password. That's the same one that you use with your email credential. Click on save. Now from here, you want to go to plugins. You want to go to HomeKit. And all you have to do now is reload the plugin. So with this, it generates a QR code and also enable the HomeKit secure video services. Go back to plugins, click on the on with camera plugin, and you want to select the Tapo 200 camera. Now from here, let's go to HomeKit, click on pairing. Now let's go ahead and add the camera to Apple Home. Let's go first and open up the Apple Home app, tap on the plus sign, tap on add accessory, and you want to go ahead and scan the QR code. Tap on add to Apple Home app, add anyway, give it a couple of seconds to locate the camera. You want to add it to a specific location, tap on continue. If you want, you can go ahead and rename it. And here you can go ahead and enable the HomeKit secured video. Tap on continue. You can share the recordings, tap on continue, tap on done. And just like that, you have the camera already enabled. You will see that it's already enabled the two-way audio and the motion detection is automatically enabling the pan and tail functionality. So that's how easy it is together with scripted enabled. And you can see that it works perfectly together with the two-way audio and also uh, automatic motion detection. It also provides one sensor. Now, just in case, if you have any difficulty with HomeKit secure videos not being recorded automatically based on detection, you need to go ahead and also install OpenCV plugin. And you want to go ahead and enable it for the Tapo C200. So if I go to plugins and if I go to on with camera, Tapo C200, you'll see that I have enable the open CV detection. Now this could be due to the fact due to any uh, new up, uh, firmware updates that have occurred for the camera and the snapshot wasn't working. So you want to go ahead and enable open CV detection. So just like that, you now know how to integrate your TP-Link Tapo C200 camera with scripted. You are now able to control and monitor your camera flawlessly with HomeKit secured video as well as get two-way audio and I will see you in the next video. Cheers and happy automation.